so this is my 2006 Acura TL that I got for a thousand dollars which was a good deal the exterior is not too bad uh, the interior isn't too bad either it just needs a good detail on the inside and outside um, I got it for a thousand dollars but the transmission was blown which is common for these cars you can find a lot of cars um, just like this one Acura TLs with a blown transmission on Facebook marketplace they're they're going pretty low um, you just have to find a transmission which costs upwards of you know fifteen hundred dollars which is quite a bit hey chief um but overall the body's in pretty good condition the interior is in pretty con good condition so with everything being said the car was a thousand dollars the transmission was nine hundred dollars which i found at a wrecking yard that had to drive uh, a good amount of hours for three four hours for and then bring it back have a mechanic do it for a decent price um it was about five hundred dollars so i'm into it a decent amount but we're still in it to make a profit so we'll see what we can do so it's a black interior um this right here is coming off probably gonna go ahead and put like a hot glue gun and then just tuck it in just do like a little strip right here um Detail the interior pretty nice. Go over it with an extractor. Clean the inside. The leather. Everything pretty good. You can see the, all the interior. The the dash is not cracked, which is pretty pretty crazy for being a 2006. Mine's 04. It's not cracked, but I know that's a rare thing when it's not cracked. The seats aren't ripped, which is also a rare thing. Let's go to the back here it does have some pretty good stainage on uh, the carpet but we're gonna try to do our best I'll try to do my best as far as cleaning it and uh, yeah it should be a pretty good little car that we can go ahead and fix up we just got everything fixed so I just drove it home it works it shifts perfectly works smoothly so um, I'm excited to kind of just turn it around and make this video for you guys. So these are all the plastic pieces for the motor um, or the engine bay. They're in here. Which I'll go ahead and put in. Got this little uh, like plastic cover right here. It's pretty dirty. I need to clean. Almost looks like there's mold on it, which I wouldn't doubt. There is mold in this car, so definitely have to clean it real good and disinfect it. Okay, so the hood strut supports are here. The ones on the hood are broken. They don't even hold up the hood, which is necessary uh, for this Acura TL. They're not expensive at all. I paid about 15 bucks for these with tax and everything included on eBay. Um, the cheapest ones I could find. I'm sure they'll do the trick just right and I kind of complete the finishing touches on the Acura. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. So there they are. Obviously they're both black, not too big. Good weight and everything. So let's go ahead and uh, install these into the Acura and see how good they work and how they support the hood. So we just got done installing the hood struts right here. The old ones did not work at all, but these ones on eBay for 15 bucks, that did the trick. Easiest installation you could probably do on an Acura TL. Uh, sometimes these cars are hard to work on because of the location of certain things um, but we were able to do it like within five minutes uh, for both of them within five minutes so it was uh, pretty easy installation now it works so it won't be an issue with closing if somebody wants to work on the engine or in the engine compartment so uh, I think it's money you know worth spending so it's a little darker out but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is clean out all this stuff that's in here there's like mold in there i kid you not uh, but there's stuff in here i'm gonna get all the big stuff um there's like stuff in here uh there's quarters chains or stuff 
and these two compartments, I believe. Let me go ahead and open those. Right there. And then down there, I don't even know what that is. If it'll focus, I don't think it will. Or something. And here, are CDs. They're like Spider-Man CDs, for like soundtracks to movies. And then, brake grease. There's stuff in the glow compartment, there's stuff. Back here, I think, in the trunk. I'm gonna kinda clean some stuff out uh, before I start detailing it uh, tomorrow. But I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll put some gloves and put stuff in boxes. So remember how I told you how I couldn't see what was down there? Well, it's this little hookah pipe thing. I don't even know what this is. I don't know much about smoking or like drugs or whatever, but say no to drugs, kids. Um, it's kind of nasty though. Good thing this car doesn't smell like weed or anything, uh, but that's definitely weed. It kind of got a little closer sniff and for sure that's what it is. Disgusting. But I'm going to go ahead and just clean some stuff out that just just thought that was interesting to show so another thing this thing right here looks like a nicotine vape well, i don't even know what this is right here but other gross stuff man people are people are gross uh the guy i bought it off of was like super cool guy he said it was his girlfriend's car so that's disgusting but that's gross another thing in here is there's like wax like weed wax or something in this little compartment and it's super super tough to like take these pennies out they're like stuck to this uh, little compartment right here disgusting so i'm getting into the detail barely starting but what i want to do at first is just go ahead and take the seats out because this carpet is disgusting it needs to be vacuumed it needs to be extracted obviously as you can see uh, so i'm gonna go through the whole process currently i'm taking out the bolts in the front and the bolts in the back so you can see there's the caps that need to come off and then the bolt that's right there so this, this is the last two these are the last two bolts i need to take out so i removed all the the two seats look how disgusting that is nasty i don't know how people can live like this can have their car like this that's super disgusting there's coins everywhere trash um little things souvenirs that they had for us i go ahead and go to the other side of the car i took out all the trash on this side but just look how dirty that is it's crazy so now we're just gonna go ahead and vacuum it up and get the extractor tool and we'll get back to the video all right, everybody, so the car is now detailed fully on the inside for the most part. Something needs to be touched up a little bit, but I took out the seats, literally cleaned the seats separately outside, cleaned underneath all the garbage, all the trash, extracted the carpets the best that I could with the materials that I had. Um, it took literally all day, all day yesterday, which was a Saturday, it took the whole day took forever so i got the wide angle lens right now kind of give you a little shot of all the interior and stuff as you see in the previous video like extremely dirty but i mean there's still stainage or whatever i had these oem uh honda acura uh, back seat mats from my uh white acura that i have um I had bought new ones, so those ones were extra. So I just put those back there, and then I put some generic ones from Walmart in here. It doesn't look the greatest, uh, but it does a job. On the other side, it looks better because there's no gas pedal or anything like that. But uh, the car is how it stands right now. So yeah, now it's time to just do some finishing touches. All right, everybody. So a common thing that happens with any Hondas, Acuras, or uh, any car at all, if they have an emblem in the middle, obviously that they get worn out right so you have the silver paint that's on them or the chrome paint uh that kind of gets worn down and then it's like a white plastic underneath so i went up i went and ended up going ahead and painting the middle i didn't paint the edge or whatever i just painted the center um it looks all right i got like the silver touch-up paint 
that the, it's the OEM paint color for the outside of this car. And I was like, eh, might as well. It's what I have. We'll see how it comes out. I masked, I masked it here and then I masked it all around uh, with painter's tape. And then I went ahead and used the OEM Honda um, touch-up paint right here. So obviously the paint is right here. I did like three coats. And I went ahead and did two coats of clear. Uh, so once that dries up, which should be here in a couple minutes, I'm going to go ahead and remove this masking tape and see how it came out. But it's just like little finishing touches on the car uh, that I think will be a, a good little last finishing touch if you know what i'm saying all right so this is how it came out after i took off all the masking tape it does look pretty good from afar but it is far from good if you go a little bit closer you can kind of see uh, the paint brush strokes and whatnot it is pretty glossy and even glossy to the touch with the clear coat that i put on it um it doesn't look too bad from afar it's only the a in the middle not the outer rim because i thought that was just a bit much um it does a it does a trick for sure definitely for pictures for what people can see and even as you see it in person it's all that needs to be done um it's a nice little finishing touch like i said just to kind of bring the whole interior together as i just uh did the whole detail earlier in the video uh but let me know what you guys think so this is my personal car that i've had for years this is my white acura tl's the 04 i've had it for a while i love the car i love the way it drives it's just overall a solid car. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the back mat from the trunk from the silver car that I have. Uh, and then go ahead and put it in this one. Because when I sell it, it really doesn't matter. They're not going to be like, oh, it doesn't have the back mat. Uh, you know, cut off a certain amount of the price. But mine doesn't have it. It's like a weatherproof mat in the back. And this one's really nice. I'll show you right now. All right, so this one was all dirty. This is the weatherproof mat I was talking about. It was all dirty, so I put degreaser on it and uh, rinsing it down with a hose. After I kind of scrub out all the little different things, there's like some just dirt and stuff that I'm just kind of letting seep in there with all the degreaser. And I'm um, just cleaning it real good before I put it in my car. But yeah, that used to be in this car right here, but I don't think they'll need it. So I cleaned the weatherproof mat. Here in the bag, it's still kind of drying. I put that speaker over it, or the subwoofer, I mean, and the amp, which is kind of tricky because it was a little heavy to kind of slide up on top of it, but I put it in. I'd rather have it in this car that I use it and that's mine. They're not gonna really miss it, another one once I sell it. Uh, so I just thought I'd take it from that car and I make it in addition to mine. This is the final product of the car. This is my 2006 Acura TL Silver with a black interior. A beautiful car inside and out for a thousand dollars not bad for what i ended up doing to it i got it for a thousand dollars with a blown transmission went ahead and replaced the transmission for five hundred dollars the transmission cost me nine hundred dollars so i'm about twenty five hundred dollars into this car uh not including the labor it took to go ahead and detail the car and everything like that but after everything said and done uh, I think we're going to make a pretty good profit. I have it on Facebook Marketplace for $6,600. Um, so we'll see what the profit ends up being. I'm doing our best offer. I want to get at least 5000 bottom line for it. Because it is low miles, the transmission only has 147,000 miles. Um, I have been say, sitting on it for a while because, you know, I didn't do everything back to back. It kind of took my time and did my thing with it. But it is a beautiful car. I really do like it. I mean, I have one of my own, a white one. So I really do like these cars. I really like how they drive. This car is not in the best condition, uh, but it's good and better than most, I'd say. So let's take a look on the interior. So first off, obviously we detailed everything really well. It was a whole day process of taking the seats out, extracting the carpets, really doing our thing on it. Um, I did that little emblem right there like you saw in another clip of the video had to put an air freshener in there because it did have a certain smell not a bad smell but you know you just little finishing touches to the car that really make it stand out so let me go ahead and unlock the door the back one as well go back here it's pretty clean only other money I invested into this car 
uh, would be the front mats. They're generic from Walmart. They cost like 15 bucks. They're not the greatest. And honestly, they look more dirty on camera than they are in person. Um, but they do the job on the other side, the passenger side. It looks nicer because it's not covering any of the pedals or anything like that. The back mats, like I said in a previous clip, they're OEM. And the front two ones that I had from the old car, they were ripped. So that's why I replaced them in the first place. But yeah, that is this car. I'm excited to sell it. We got some people looking at it this weekend and uh, work on another project, possibly another TL and do another transmission swap um, replacement and uh, see where we go with this channel. So this is the part of the video where we add up all the total costs, see exactly how much we spent, see what we sold the car for and the total profit made from the sale of this car. Now, this car was definitely an amazing car outside, inside. It was super clean. Obviously, I needed to detail it. But otherwise, after the mechanical issues were fixed, this car was ready to go and sold for pretty much top dollar, if you ask me. So the first thing that we had to buy was obviously the car itself. We had to go two hours away, pick up the car. So the first thing we have to pay for is gas, right? So gas ended up costing about $97.81 just to go pick this car up on a car dolly and bring it back home. Now, what we needed after that was to pay the guy for the car. So we negotiated a little bit. He was at 1500 on the marketplace listing on Facebook. Um, but I talked him down where well, I asked him, what's your bottom? He said a thousand. That's what I was thinking. And it was really a really good deal from just seeing the car all around. So I was like, you know what? You got yourself a deal. There wasn't really much finagling there. Uh, but I did get the car for a thousand dollars all cash. Um, so that was awesome, right? The next thing I had to pay for was a transmission. Now I searched and searched and sometimes there's good local deals. Sometimes there's not. Now these cars are quite, uh, expensive regarding the transmissions. Um, sometimes you can find them for a good deal. Sometimes upwards of $1,500 just for the transmission, even used, or you can even get a JDM one from, uh, eBay or whatever, and it'll come for like $1,500 with 54,000 miles. And you have to do little modifications to make it work for your car, right? But I ended up finding a transmission at a wrecking yard, kind of two hours, three hours away from where I lived. And when I was picking up the Nissan project uh, from the previous video, I actually went and picked up this transmission right after I picked up that car. So it worked out. Um, so I, that's kind of the gas that I spent for that car is accounting for that video. Uh, but regardless, I paid $900 for that car, uh, a total of $907.39 uh, to be exact. Um, so that was that. The next thing that I needed uh, was to get the transmission installed. Now it's a lot of work, a lot of tools necessary needed. We obviously uh, needed some help. Um, it's a very good to outsource these kind of things. So I got it fixed for $500. Now that's a great deal. I actually have a guy uh, that does it for cheaper now uh, another mechanic that i found because i have another project that i'm working on a white tl for another video uh, you guys will see that one but as far as this video goes and this car i paid 500 dollars for the total labor and he had to kind of do some modifications with the transmission because one of the bolt holes uh broke off so he had to do some um macgyvering if you will the next thing that we spent was the fluid um, it was the ATF fluid Valvoline that you get the OEM one. I heard the Valvoline one was good. So we ended up spending about $50. I just got two bottles. I think they're three quarts each, five quarts each or three quarts each. I'm not sure. I think it takes about seven to fill it up completely, the whole transmission. Um, so we got brand new transmission fluid. And the next thing, uh, expense was the mats, the floor mats. I only used the front two and I had the OEM back to like I explained in the video. Um, that costed me $14.88 at Walmart, uh, which is not bad at all, right? The next thing that we'll talk about is the struts, the hood struts to be exact. So right when you open the hood, there nothing was supporting the hood, like the struts were completely gone. So I had to get some replacements uh, for those. And I did on eBay for really cheap for about $15.10. I replaced those. They were good to go. Uh, the engine stayed propped up or the engine, uh, the hood stayed popped up to see the engine. So everything, all in all, those were everything, that's everything I had to do, excluding obviously the detail, the whole day's worth of work I put into cleaning this car inside and out. The total cost of this build 
was two thousand dollars well two thousand five hundred and eighty five dollars and eighteen cents so twenty five hundred dollars twenty six hundred dollars uh, all in all is what it cost me i went ahead and listed and posted this car on facebook marketplace for a good sixty five hundred dollars had a thousand dollars of wiggle room ended up selling this car for fifty five hundred dollars now this is the best flip that i've ever done regarding the profits now i made a total profit of two thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars and eighty two cents pretty much three grand so i profited three grand on this flip what an amazing amazing video for you guys and just it comes to show if you guys have the right resources and know the right things you guys can make a real profit um, from these kind of things right people don't want to deal with a certain car or whatever and if you have time if you have the know-how you know the connections uh, you can make a profit just like me and i sold it to this uh, guy a super cool guy and uh, just a solid car i loved it i would keep it for myself if i could but i already have a to i have actually two right now um but i'm flipping one right so if you guys enjoy this video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button i really appreciate that it really gives me the motivation to go ahead and keep going to keep making videos and content for you guys i just keep getting better as each video goes if you've noticed um, i'm really putting more effort into these videos so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button also hit the like button as well and comment tell me what your suggestions are what you liked what you didn't like um different things that maybe you would have done also too please just go ahead and share the channel share the word give out uh, all the information regarding the channel if people you know know this kind of stuff like this kind of stuff uh, please don't be afraid to uh, refer them to the channel and and check out some of these bills because these are all just doable things i'm just a regular guy uh working on cars which i have none i have so much to learn right but um it's just all process so if you want to turn this broken old car into a amazing and great looking functioning car it's all possible you just have to put your mind to it do it and see you later god bless